You are listening to a Geek Network interview. Be sure to hit the follow button to get notified when a new episode is available. You can also visit us at geek-network.com for your guide to the geek entertainment news you love. Created for geeks, by geeks, and remember to always geek responsibly. Hi, uh, welcome uh, once again. Uh, we are doing another uh, podcast for uh, Relentless Beats. Uh, we are going to be talking about the lineup um, that we have so far that they have released on the website and what's to come. How are you doing today, RJ? I'm tired. I'm ready to get out of work. I feel that. And Kat, how are you doing? Uh, living the dream. Hell yeah, that's what I love to hear. <laughs> yeah, so... What is on your guys' minds, um, you know, with some of the artists that are coming, um, you know, this 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 month of February and then going forward, they have a pretty solid lineup, I think. Um, the Super Bowl, we- Super Bowl weekend is definitely helping that out as well. I think it's super stacked. Yeah, uh, there's a few that I'm super stoked to see. Uh, today, we unfortunately missed Marshmallow. Yeah, it's kind of a... Oh, and Shaq's Fun House, of course. Yeah, really was looking forward to going to that one. Alesso was also today at the time of recording this. Cardi B. Um, Cascade tomorrow, Saturday, the 11th. Unfortunately, they're like 200 bucks for a general admission, but Cascade, that's a good DJ. Yeah. Uh, had, I saw him at uh, Waste Management, which is also going on this weekend. That's true. And uh, a solid show, you know, was hoping it, tickets wouldn't be so steep because, you know, I could use a good cry on the dance floor. <laughs> well, Cascade's a pretty big name in EDM. So. Yeah, definitely. Kat, what about you? What are you looking forward to? Man, I was really trying to go to Gasly tonight, but... Some things just don't work out, which is fine. I heard it sold out. <laughs> you know what? In your defense, March 30th, Ghastly presents Gengar. That's going to be a solid one. <laughs> I'm actually looking forward to that. March 30th? Yep, yeah, March 30th. Albuquerque, New Mexico. <laughs> mm. Hey, that's like a six hour drive. Whoa, man! Would it yeah, wouldn't it be worth it? <laughs> it would be worth it. Uh, I was actually trying to see if a friend of mine, if she wanted to go to, I'm pretty sure it's Dynamo DNMO. Oh yeah, that's tonight. No, it's isn't it tomorrow? That's tomorrow. At the Dark Star in Tempe. By the way, great venue. Saw the venue. I love going upstairs. Yeah. Oh, I've never been upstairs in Dark Star. Yeah. They have that. Uh, they have that open. Overlooks a dance floor. It's actually pretty cool. <sighs> that does sound cool. You know, if you want to feel like the vampires from uh, <laughs> uh, from Twilight when they're looking down at everybody oh, else. God. Oh my god. <laughs> you would bring up the Twilight in this. Hey, nothing's wrong with Twilight. Nothing's wrong with Twilight. I'm just not a fan. RJ, a... is a dark star where we went to that 90s? Yes, like, 90s night. Show? 90s yeah. night. Okay. Dark star in Tempe, right down the street from Sun Bar, which is another really good venue that Relentless Beats likes to um, utilize. Yeah, I think that one's a pretty solid, solid place to host some shows. Who else do we have? We got Diplo at uh, Sunbar uh, tomorrow with Guy Gerber. It's going to be a BTB set. Ooh. That's going to be pretty solid. Now, for those at home who don't know, and definitely not me, just asking for a friend, what is a B2B set? Back to back. Back to back. I could have figured that out <laughs> if I was smarter. So uh, Diplo <laughs> will go ahead and uh, start a song off, and then... Um, Oh, God, uh, Guy Gerber will go ahead and mix his song into that set, too. Whoa. And they're just playing off of each other. That's dope. Okay. We have Walker and Royce Sunday at Sun Bar, and that, yeah, yeah. as we were talking about. They'll be closing out uh, Super Bowl weekend. <laughs> so mad I have to miss that. 
That's right, you'll well, be working. <laughs> y- yeah. I guess it kind of depends. Well, doors don't open till nine, so. Mm. And they probably won't go on until about midnight or 1230. So you probably have a chance to come down here to Tempe. I might have to do that. $35 for general admission. And it's at the Sun Bar, so it's mostly general admission, right? If it's right. upstairs. They, they do have tables starting at $700. And going no, upwards you. to two grand. <laughs> I have seen... Hey. Uh, uh, oh, go ahead. <laughs> I was going to say, if I get tipped enough, then maybe, but... <laughs> well, the two grand table is up to 12 patrons. Uh, if you wanted to, you can get a good group together and split that. I'm not going to do the math because I'm dumb. <laughs> but I'm assuming it's a lot less than two grand per person if everybody chips in. Oh, definitely. <laughs> Kat, who are you looking forward to seeing this year through Relentless Beats? I'm just trying to see like what we're what we have going on here in Phoenix or in Arizona at least. You know, seeing that Walker and Roy's uh Dr. Fresh, but that's in Tucson. Gentle Ben's in Tucson. I've never heard of gentle bends now dr fresh is out at the van buren in phoenix march 18th Ooh, mm. yes ma'am yeah i'm not a huge fan of the van buren oh wait no not the van buren sorry wrong venue <laughs> <laughs> we here we love the van buren oh the van buren is an amazing venue they always pull off great shows over there they do oh yeah the sound quality, amazing. Now, March 17th has really great shows all over Arizona. Um, three in particular. Enzo, the Orpheum Theater in Flagstaff. Halion, or Halion? I think it's Halion. Is at the Dark Star in Tempe, March 17th. And... Now, I know it's supposed to be like Atlanta, A-T-L, but is it pronounced Atlians? Atlians, yeah. Atlians, okay. That's what I thought. Um, good music. Never figured out how to pronounce the name <laughs> until tonight. It's kind of like think Dead it's Mouse. Funny that, huh? Like Dead Mouse? Such a weird Dead name to five. pronounce. Dead yeah. Mouse Cinco? <laughs> that's a new um, one for me. <laughs> what I find... This is just a side note, but Atlians and Halion, which is pretty cool. Both alien puns for their DJ names, both on the same night. One in Phoenix and one in Tempe. If I had to choose between the two, though, I'd definitely go to Atlians. Really? Yeah. Because I was listening to some of Halion's music earlier, and she is a freaking phenomenal vocalist. I, I think it's her singing those. Hmm. Yeah. I have to look into her then. Listen, man, you got to support a female artist. It's true. Um, A name that stuck out to me is Senpai Squad. Now, I have not heard of Senpai Squad. Neither have I. (laughs) Now, that's actually going on at the HB Social Club in Honolulu, Hawaii. Did you know that Hawaii has like a really big rave scene? Most of their um, most of their shows are put on by Relentless Beats. They have a huge name out there in Honolulu. Really? Mm-hmm. I did not know that. I wonder how they, you know, reached out all the way over there, made a name for themselves. Well, they're also in New Mexico. Yeah. Um. It's pretty pretty decently spread company, um, you know. I guess I don't know. I don't have a company that spreads it over three states, no. so that's pretty dope. <laughs> also, I can I can understand Hawaii needing a rave scene. You know what I mean? Yeah, there's too much chill surfer dudes over there. People need to go hard every <laughs> now and then. Um, I mean. Honolulu has a pretty big, like, uh, what's the right word for it? Got a lot of different right. genres. Ah. Honolulu, 
maybe not so much the other islands, but. Honolulu is the main island, right? Uh, no clue. <laughs> the big island, I believe, which Honolulu is on Oahu. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right. I think. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. No? Anyway, this is a podcast about EDM shows, not about geography. Well, I no. mean, it could be. It could be. We have um, thrown both. One thing, super stoked to see. Um, Big Wild. Now, I introduced myself to Big Wild through pure accident. And instantly fell in love with his, vo his vocals, his production, everything about Big Wild kicks butt. And Big Wild will be at the Van Buren April 19th. So good chance to ring in 420. Yeah. Also in Albuquerque, April 10th at the El Rey Theater. I don't know if Big Wild has any more shows through Relentless Beats um, after that. But I'm definitely getting tickets, if I can, for when he comes out for April 19th. So, like, what style would you say Big Wild is, for those who don't know? Big Wild is described as future bass. A uh, good song to start with, to introduce yourself, sixes to nines. So it's literally the number six with an S, T-O, two, nine, the number with an S. So sixes to nines. It's phenomenal music. Learning so much. Yeah. <laughs> Subtronics. April 29th. That's going to be a really Raceway. good one. Of course, we're burying the lead with Phoenix Lights, but we'll come back to that, I'm sure. Because that's going to be one of the biggest fest festivals of this year, and I know we'll definitely come back and cover that. I hope aliens come to visit Phoenix Lights. How cool would that be? Like the one time first contact happens <laughs> and it's at that EDM festival. Kat, what about you? Anything else? I'm curious as to what Tim McGraw, like what is their genre? Like what would you consider them? Tim McGraw. Tim McGraw. Country? Yeah, isn't that <laughs> the Tim McGraw? Oh, I guess so. Because uh, they're playing, he, he, they, him. His is band. playing some yeah <laughs> him and his band is playing are playing he's playing tomorrow uh february 11th and that's being put on by relentless beats at the west fest so that's kind of interesting to see yeah now i think that's really cool that relentless beats is also producing the shows for cardi b tonight actually tim mcgraw tomorrow february 11th the Sports Illustrated The Party featuring the Chainsmokers and MGK, Machine Gun Kelly. Boo. Well, <laughs> I mean. Uh, also Ludacris. Uh, they're they're uh, putting that one on too. That's right. Playboy featuring Ludacris. I think that's really cool. Yeah. Guy Fieri's Flavored Town. I mean, that's going to be the oh, production yeah. that they're setting up, but, you know, got some Diplo going. Zed's dead, of course. How can we forget Zed's dead? Yeah. Oh, he's in Albuquerque. Let me see if I can pull this up. He's in Albuquerque, Friday, February 24th at the Revel Entertainment Center. Then Zed's dead and Higher Love. I think that's how that is. Unless that's the Higher Love show. I don't know what it is. It's at the Slaughterhouse in Tucson. I've always wanted to go there. Saturday, February 25th. Not, you know, not too far. Not too far. And tickets are still available. Only a couple hours. Yeah. Now, I know we're kind of all over the place with the dates. Um, but, you know, we all have ADHD here, so. And we have all, <laughs> we have our preferences in the EDM genre as well, so. There's that. Yeah. Um, would you like us to go through the whole thing? If you want to spit fire. <laughs> oh shoot all right are we ready for this go go come, all right go. so we're gonna start with tomorrow february 11th we have gronk beach big game weekend saturday february 11th at the talking stick resort in scottsdale 
Tim McGraw, West Fest, Saturday, February 11th at Westgate Entertainment District. Sports Illustrated The Party, featuring the Chainsmokers and Machine Gun Kelly, Saturday, February 11th at the Talking Stick Resort. Crank Dad, Saturday, February 11th. Uh, that will be at the HB Social Club in Honolulu. Cascade Big Game Weekend, Saturday, February 11th again at the Maya Day Club in Scottsdale. We have Playboy featuring Ludacris, Super Weekend, uh, Saturday, February 11th, West Scottsdale. I uh, don't know where that venue is. I think they just mean at the west end of Scottsdale. <laughs> we have Diplo back to back with Guy Gerber, the super weird and wonderful tour event. Uh, Saturday, February 11th at the Sun Bar in Tempe. Cardi B and Offset Hall of Fame party Saturday, February 11th at the Gila River Resorts and Casino at Wild Horse Pass in Chandler. Um, Again, Dynamo or DNMO. Uh, Saturday, February 11th at the Dark Star Tempe. That's tomorrow. So, February 12th, we have Guy Fieri's Flavortown Tailgate at State Farm Stadium in Glendale. Walker and Royce that same day at the Sun Bar in Tempe. Again, if you haven't been to the Sun Bar, I recommend checking that out. It's a really cool venue. Definitely. Mm -hmm. All right, February 17th, here we go. Marcus Schultz at the Sun Bar in Tempe. Jaded at the Dark Star in Tempe, which actually would be a cool um, moment for you guys to check out both venues and go back to back because they are right down the street from each other. Um, Dr. Fresh, February 17th at Gentle Bends in Tucson. That's a bit of a drive from Dark Star if you're planning to hit <laughs> all three of those. Um, February 18th. I'm going to close out February's. And then, Kat, if you wanted to start on March, I will. Uh, yeah, I'd love to give my voice a rest. I'm sure people would love that, too. <laughs> anyway, February 18th. We have Buku and G-Rex at Dark Star in Tempe. Um, we have So Tough, So Cute at the Electric Playhouse in Albuquerque. Martin, I think that's Iken. Martin Iken at the Sun Bar in Tempe. February 24th, uh, we have Zed's Dead at the Revel Entertainment Center in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Again, February 24th, we have Andrew Bayer at the Sun Bar in Tempe. February 24th, we also have Dr. Ozzy and Jewel at Dark Star in Tempe. I recommend checking out Jewel. Uh, Charlotte DeWitt on February 25th at Cityscape in Phoenix. Hopefully I'll be there. Oh, I'd like to see you there. I don't know that I'll be able to get that day off, <laughs> but we'll see. Oh, it's a Saturday. I do yeah. have that day off. Yeah, weekend's off. <laughs> um, Hunter Hayes, February 25th at Wet and Wild Hawaii, uh, Kapolei, I think is how you pronounce that. I probably butchered that all the hell. More February 25th, and I'm going to just rattle these off. They're all the same date. Zed's Dead and Higher Love at the Slaughterhouse in Tucson. Lil Texas at the HB Social Club in Honolulu. San Pacho at Dark Star Tempe. And Say My Name at Sun Bar in Tempe. Well, thank you for that. Um, we are just doing the February lineup for right now. Yep. So, yeah, uh, thank you so much for summarizing February. Um, just a quick little fact here, um, since we're not going to be able to mention it uh, further. Just, uh, hi, I am Ghost, uh, since he'll be um, in Albuquerque. Um, I just want to say that he is actually Jonathan Davis's son, the lead singer from Corn. I did not know that. Yeah. What? That's cool as shit. Yeah. And he actually, um, he went on Twitter and he talked about it, how uh, he actually uh, got only, you know, asked his dad a couple of questions of advice, but like didn't use them as any personal gain to get into the music business. That was all him. Just yes. with a couple of simple questions here and there. A musical family. Yeah. And um, we'll continue with more on Hi, I'm Ghost uh, on the next episode. Mm -hmm. And also, um, 
for more information, uh, go to relentlessbeats.com where you can see uh, uh, ticket pricing, uh, locations, and the artists and uh, who else is coming to town. Anything else you guys uh, want to say? I've kind of monopolized most of this. So, Kat, what are you doing? <laughs> um, I'm just pretty excited to see what else is coming for them from them, them being Relentless Beats. Super excited. And I'm sure uh, with the upcoming months, uh, say in March, they'll probably drop in, you know, more guests here and there since they always tend to surprise us last minute with uh, last minute booking. So I'm excited for that. And oh, yeah. we'll definitely cover that uh, on the next episode as well. If they do drop somebody else that we weren't expecting. With that also, being said, oh, go ahead. If you follow them on um on Instagram, I've entered their giveaways before, and I actually got free tickets to Dada Life for my birthday last year. So their That's giveaways awesome. are pretty legit. <laughs> that is really cool. I need to get an Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> I'm living in the past with my MySpace. <laughs> hey, nothing's wrong with MySpace. There's a lot wrong with MySpace. That's why it's yeah. not popular anymore. All your emo pics? <laughs> All my emo pics. Straightened hair. <laughs> That's oh. literally the only emo thing I had. <laughs> no eyeliner or anything? Guy liner? <laughs> no, never wore guy liner. Not opposed mm. to it, just never wore it. Well, props. <laughs> All right. And with that being said, just I uh, want to say thank you so much um, uh, for listening. Stay tuned for more updates and um, also check uh, geeknetwork.com uh, where we'll be posting uh, this episode. Uh, we'll be sharing it on all our socials and also we'll be dropping links uh, for the episode and any updates in regards to uh, concerts coming up. So thank you so much and have a good night, guys. Oh.